what is up guys jcraft here uh i'm back with the tutorial um whew, okay uh today i'm gonna show you guys how to sync a video uh it's gonna be a part of a small <coughs> sorry about that a small three video series um the first one it's uh syncing and then second one is uh adding effects and post well i, I guess it, it could be a two video uh, two-part video series and uh, the first part is on basic syncing because that's basically the whole thing and then uh, a lot of people underestimate post-production it's re um, it actually it's really high stakes and it, um, depending on what you do it could be either really easy to make it look good or really hard to make it look good but uh, this video tutorials on uh, syncing so let's get started um, it would help if you have uh, cinematics, like, uh, I really want to do cinematics uh, syncing in the beginning, but I don't have any cinematics since uh, I don't have my PVR right now. Where is <coughs> my, oh, there it is. So, I'm just gonna put all these in. Shouts, shout out to Buried Talent for having their clips up that allow me to use them so uh... first off we're not even gonna hold up i'm gonna check my frap settings so i am recording my windows sound i don't want to make it too loud so i'm just gonna lower down the volume of sony vegas <sighs> not by that much okay so um... So the build up because that, that's why I suggest using some intros if you have like if you have to use intros I suggest you use it on a build up and then for the last part of the build up you want to include a twixered part of a clip and then right when the beat drops you want to add a gunshot but uh so yeah that looks pretty good you guys obviously want to know about how to uh, on how to sync it with Twixter. I'm gonna show you guys how to and uh, place a bunch of markers. I'm gonna do that right now. Ah, yeah, I'm, sometimes you can screw up. <coughs> Am I recording my voice right now? Okay. be some variables in, within the beat so you gotta watch out for those or else it might look unsynced okay so I, for, I forgot one right here remember this is a more in-depth uh, syncing tutorial Really sorry about the coughing, <coughs> but I'm still gonna go on through this tutorial. So we got the whole thing synced, and it's gonna be really, really simple. You just need to have a whole bunch of, um, whole bunch of different feeds, cause feed like if you have if you just have single shots. Like I only suggest single shots for. Yeah, I really only suggest single shots for um for big drops. This doesn't seem to be 59. Okay. Okay, this clip doesn't look like it's full 60 FPS, but I'm still gonna go with it. So. Uh, we obviously want to put the gunshot. Okay, this isn't 60 FPS. But, uh, we obviously want to put the gunshot right here. Uh, 
like exactly at the spot where the base drops it's a little bit off that looks good enough so let's see if it's synced <laughs> now what you want to do is add some variables to make it look more fancy so uh, you're, you're, you'll see what I'm doing here I'm just gonna split the clip so uh, I'm just gonna speed it up so I can add a speed this part up by holding control and dragging it oh whoops make sure it's on this side okay dragging it so I can add a twixter clip right here to make up for the space lost from the sped up clip right here and it'll look real good with real smart motion blur if you add it on later so uh, remember this is a basic but yet long tutorial this is for mostly basic people so sorry for those who already know how to sync just ignore this tutorial so this is the, the part that happens right before it speeds up so I'm just gonna listen to the song and see what I'm gonna do so I really want to twixter the part where there's yeah this this part right here I think it'll look good if, if you twixter it and and um sync it I forgot what I was gonna say but uh, we're just gonna speed this part up, and then so we're just gonna twister that part, and then we're j uh, I'm not sure if you guys know this. Hold up, let me just back up. See, it's, uh, let's see what I did. Okay, so you want to split about two frames, maybe three, maybe one. I'm gonna go three. No, two. Um, and then you drag the second half of the clip, second part of the clip, all the way to the right. And then drag this clip all the way to the right. And I'll show you why right now. Um, we're going to add Twixter. Go check out my Twixter settings. I uh, have them up. Make sure that your clip is disabled, re re disabled resampled also. And then uh, let's preview it. And keep in mind that this isn't even a 60 FPS clip, so it's not going to look as smooth as it normally would. Uh, but uh, it still looks pretty good. I apologize for the length of this video. Um, it's really important that I go over all the basic dynamics to help out those people. As you can see, it skips some frames, and that's a bad thing. So I'm going to move this back, and then add a couple frames right here so it doesn't uh, skip any frames. Uh, it still skips one, so let's move this one. Let's move this couple frames. Ah, whoops. Sorry about that. Let's move this a couple frames. And let's add a couple frames here. <coughs> okay, so this is perfect. We have it twixtered and ready. It's really hard to explain what to do, but uh, if you guys actually check out what I do, you'll get the And uh, I, I like watch watching over... Uh, every single detail that I do because I don't know why, it's just a bad habit I don't really suggest you do this just let the edit go with the flow and um, as you can see the beat sort of uh, there's a ba uh, bass drum here bass clap here like there's like a double bass clap here and I don't know what to call I'm not a music guy but um, I think it would be perfect if we synced it with the pullback of the of the uh, sniper rifle. So <coughs> what we're gonna do is add a twixtered part so that okay. Let's rewind again. I'm gonna split the part where I want to twixter, and then drag the second part to the right. And then 
and then fill up the space right there and then add my Twixer settings. Make sure you have it on a, uh, on a saved preset so you don't always have to change it every single time. Uh, I think I have my Twixer video up. It's from Marathon 1. <coughs> okay, so let's, we're just checking if everything's synced up. Okay, so it looks like it's synced up pretty well. So, uh, it's not really synced up right here. So, I want the first part to make it so that when it's going back, that it syncs with the, the first bass clap. So, we're just going to speed this up. Okay, that isn't right. So, ignore that. <laughs> this is a lot of trial and error. Okay, actually this looks pretty good. I'm just going to leave it like this. And then the, for the second bass clap, for the first bass clap, it just... <coughs> the Twixer just stuck. But for the second bass clap, uh, this is perfect because the, it goes back and then you could Twixer it and add some effect to it okay so let's go through this come on Sony Vegas you can do it oh yeah sorry sorry about the twixer it's like 30 FPS Basically how you twitch, twitch, whoops, why did I say twitch? I meant twixter and sync, but I'm still going to keep on going on for you. And I'm going to show you why uh, <coughs> sound effects is really important in post-production, but right now we're just syncing, but I'm going to show that in the next video, and it just adds a whole new uh, element to the video. And please note that even though it looks horrible, well, it doesn't look horrible, it looks alright. Yeah, sorry for my constant replaying. Even though it doesn't look that bad, uh, in post-production, we're really going to smoothen things up with real smart motion blur. And then we're going to add some overlays, add some uh, keyframed video effects. I'm going to go all through all of that, hopefully in the next in next two videos, because uh, I can't, can't really do everything in one video, but uh, this is a good start. I'm just going to end this video by ending this uh, part of the edit for the clip. I think it's best if I just like add a part where I die over here. Hold up. Let's see how this works. If it doesn't look as good. Okay, so I'm just going to add Twixter for this one part. Then when it goes to the next part, I can add a new. When it goes to the next uh, bass clap, I can go to uh, the next clip, which is hopefully 60 FPS. This one's like 30 FPS, which means the Twixter is absolutely horrible. See, Twixter is just screwing around with me right now when I'm doing a tutorial. <laughs> Yeah, Twixter is just screwing around. Alright. So, uh, the song that I'm using is very, um, beat oriented. Like, it, it has a very simple beat, but it sounds very cool and it's very easy to sing to. So, always look for those type of songs. Yeah, uh, this, 
tutorial isn't very good. Uh, it took a really long time to show you something really simple, but uh, I'm still going to continue this because I want to show you the process of making an edit and how I make edits. So let's just watch what we have so far. I'm really sorry for repeating over and over. It's a bad habit of mine. I, I really enjoy uh, watching video over and over. Check my Facebook. Okay. I'm just, uh, if you're wondering how I'm doing this, this is actually a RAM preview. I did, I did a video on it before. You highlight over the clip and press shift and beat at the same time or together. And then it'll go over the clip and then you can watch it smoothly without any lag after it's done. So. So it's a really short clip. Uh, I'm gonna do the rest of the second part. I really don't want you guys to miss out on anything that I edit, so. Uh, that's it for this one part. Uh, this is editing with Jcraft. If you have any suggestions for me with anything to do with the edit, just comment below. Cause I, I, I'm actually doing this for the uh, for the versus video, like uh, Sony Vegas versus AE against Salty. Um, he has an advantage. He's seeing how I'm editing right now. But uh, yeah, it'll look a lot more smoother once you go through post production, and I'll explain all that later. And <coughs> I'm really sorry that this video is really long. I just want to show you guys how I go through the process of editing. This might go through a series of multiple, like, long videos. I don't know how long I've been going, but I've been going for a pretty long time. So uh, that's it for this video. I'm actually going to continue it right after I upload this this video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed me watching me edit. I know it, it sounds really boring and looks really boring. But uh, it's all for you guys. It's all for you guys uh, to to help you guys out. Cause uh, some people ask me for help in syncing, and this is how you sync. And then I'll also show you guys uh, the importance of post production and different color corrections and all that. But um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.